Now this is another patient that had a normal examination. Again, we're talking about uh, athletic pubalgia, pain down in the pelvic region, and they call these sports hernias because people have pain down in the groins. They think, oh, this must be a hernia, but really they're not. They're related to these injuries of the aponeurosis, and so they call it a sports hernia, which is kind of a misnomer. There's no herniation of anything. It just mimics a hernia. So this is a patient, they have a little asymmetry. This is the left rectus abdominis. This is the right, and sometimes that can be associated with um, an injury. That's one of the secondary signs, but if we come down, Actually, right here, it's very thin, so one could argue there is a little partial tear and attenuation on the right-hand side there. But if we go down to the attachment here, this area, things look just fine. You can see the nice, normal, dark attachment here. You can see along in front here, there's common aponeurosis here. They call it the common rectus abdominis adductor longus aponeurosis. And there it is, nice and dark, attaching to the front. If we go to the middle here, you see there's no really big brightness here, a really subtle primary cleft. If we come down to the bottom here, things look nice. And similarly here, we see that the symphysis pubis should look normal just like this. There's a little primary cleft. There's no secondary cleft going to the right or left underneath. You can see how that black aponeurosis is touching the bone right to the periosteum. And that is that. So thank you very much.